Hello! Today we're going to go over the steps to running a manual diagnostic on your Genesis or Genesis Mini Controller. This process is useful to check over each section of elements in your kiln and read their amperages and voltage. To do this, start at the home screen, and from there we're going to navigate to the menu screen with the orange menu button in the bottom. From here we can go and press two diagnostics. And this brings us to a screen with all the diagnostic options. The one we're looking for is labeled Run Manual Diagnostic. Go ahead and click on that. And keep in mind that what you saw there was how it went straight into the process. There wasn't a confirm box or anything. It's going to go right into it. Granted, it doesn't take long and doesn't actually affect much, um, but it does go right into it. And as we can see, it's done now. Um, so this brings us to a screen uh, with the results. Here we can see each category and reading to the right of it, like we have amps and the reading. It might look a little weird on this test device. And goes all the way down to safety voltage. Once you're done going over it, you can press the red back button to return home. And then it's gone. But there is another way to access it. Um, here, instead of pressing, or we can go here, um, instead of pressing diagnostics, we'll use the scroll bar to scroll down to um, or we'll go to data menu and then scroll all the way down to last manual diagnostic. So here, uh, once we press this, it'll open up the last test that we ran. So we can see here are the same results. Um, and you can find that at any time. Keep in mind, if you do run another manual diagnostic, it will overwrite the last one of that type. And that's all. For a quick refresher or to look at any other processes, remember that we have the full manual available online and it's also linked in the description. You can find this particular process on page 18. Remember to like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter or Instagram for the latest updates and information. We also have an e-newsletter for other information and tips and you can see many other tutorials on our YouTube channel for other issues you might have. Thanks.